are and why do we need them? Well, another name for emergency funds could be rainy day money. So why do we actually need them is just in case something happens that we haven't planned for. Because what I tend to be finding today is that we're often having expenses that come up that we, we didn't expect. And then what, have, what people are doing is saying, well, I don't have the money to pay that. So then they're putting it on their credit card and that's causing a whole bunch of stress. So what we want to do is we want to put aside some money just in case something happens to us. So it could be anything from um, my car blows up and you need to spend thousand dollars on maintenance, or uh, you know quite right to the other side of it where for some reason you might be ill and may have to have a couple of months off work. So how much do we actually need? We want at least three to, uh, months of our expenditure and a perfect world of six months. So between three and six months of what it costs us to live. And to work that out, what you've really got to do is either go back to your budget, or if you don't have a budget, actually just sit down and say, okay, if I couldn't work for three months, how much money would I actually need to be able to survive? And so let's say that's $5,000, then that's what our emergency fund should be, the amount that it should actually be. So then you might say, okay, well that's all real well saying I need $5,000, but how do I actually get that money? Well, you've actually got a couple of options. One is, is that you, if you may have some money in a bank account, that you can put into a separate bank account. You could, maybe if you had $1,000, you could start with $1,000 and then save a certain amount per week or per month to, add, to, to, to grow that to $5,000. You might have um, some shares or another type of liquid investment that you could get access to if you didn't need it. Um, you could have a garage sale or have a bank sale or you know, find an extra job to just build up that emergency money. Or the other common um, tool that people use is their revolving credit mortgages if they have them. So what that means is let's say you might have a $20,000 facility on your Flexi or Orbit or revolving credit mortgage that you can use if you need it. The only thing with this is to say as soon as you do actually access that money you are paying interest on it. Um, but if you do keep your revolving credit credit specifically for big emergencies, then the chances are reasonably slim that you will have to pay, use that facility and, and pay that interest. One of, the, one of the key things also to remember is that if you do have some emergency funds put, put aside, a really good tip for you is that you can actually reduce your income insurance premiums. Because what actually happens with income protection insurance or disability um, insurance is that if you can't work for any reason, this is a policy that, pa that pays out. And what they typically do is pay it after four weeks, uh, eight weeks, or 13 weeks. And if you have three months worth of rainy day or emergency money set aside in a separate account, then you can afford to live for three months. Then you can go to your insurance company and say, well, I will have a 13 week stand down, thank you. Which in some cases will, will be close to halving your monthly premium. So that's quite a good way to, to saving money. So, you know, key reasons for emergency money is just planning for those unplanned expenses. Um, and, you know, another real key benefit of it is it can reduce quite a bit of stress just knowing that you've got some money there for that rainy day.